As far as a modern power plug goes on vintage test equipment, this is the schematic for my Heathkit SG8 signal generator. You'll notice that we now have a polarized plug, that the neutral is not switched, that the, <laughs> the line, the hot, is switched, and that there is no ground on the power plug. What we have here is a failure to electrocute. What we have here is a built-in isolation transformer, which the device must have. Similarly, for the Heathkit V6 VTVM, same situation. Hot line gets switched, neutral line isn't switched, no polarized, uh, I'm sorry, no grounded plug, no grounded chassis. If we ground the chassis of our vintage test equipment, then the device under test must have its own isolation transformer. Otherwise, we make sparks and smoke. That is my take on this type of equipment. On a radio, whether it be, well, on a All-American 5 radio, which typically has no power transformer, it's not a problem as long as B- is not at chassis potential. Oftentimes, B- will be floating from the chassis and you'll have a high value resistor and a cap from B- to chassis. In that case, fine, you can ground your chassis. However, if B- is at chassis potential, then all is not lost. You just ground the chassis, switch the hot lead. And you'll never cook yourself.